All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. Yeah. So got another turn here with Asphodel. Our Herald has returned from Arcosophale, and we have a non-aggression pact with them now. So we have non-aggression packs for all of our neighbors except for Scalaria, who's ticking down. What's weird is I feel like we've had you guys watching this, it may be more clear. I feel like we've had a few turns. I feel like the war should start. But then when I like click on diplomacy, it says nap two, like it's been ticking down. I'm not sure. The pro I would have just attacked. The problem is if we attack, it would like force you to retreat. So I, I'll see if I like the idea that it ticks down here. That would be so great. And when it's nap zero, you can actually like, or maybe just you go back to the neutral state or whatever it is. But I guess that's not actually it. I guess we're going to war. You can't, that's kind of interesting. You can't, and this is how it actually is in real multiplayer, but it doesn't sort like, it would make sense when you would do diplomacy and I'm like, hey, I want to end a non-aggression pact. The alternative shouldn't necessarily, like logically, it shouldn't be going to war. But if you look at how multiplayer actually works, you can tell somebody, hey, I'm going to end our non-aggression pact and we're not going to war. <laughs> That's a fucking lie. It always is going to war, or at least 99% of the time. And there's that's so well established in terms of just like, the norms, like if somebody ends their aggression pact with you, even if they say, no, 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 we're not, you know, we're, we're, we're just doing it to do it. You know, we're, we're not actually going to fight. I just want more flexibility, blah, blah, blah. It's late game, blah, blah, blah. It pretty much always means war. And because that's a norm, it kind of makes it hard to like ditch it, you know, to be like, oh no, that, that isn't what it means. So I don't know. Kind of interesting. Um, Oh, we got some a large scale attack coming. Was it barbs? Squires. All right, that means knights are coming. I don't no magus the knights. Let's let's grab as many of these idiots as we can. And it's probably gonna take a fair number of us to kill all of these knights. I don't think I saw this earlier, so we'll have to do here as best we can. Okay. I think it's a 50%, 40% chance we get attacked every turn. We'll do double line here. And uh, these things back here somewhere. We'll see how that goes. The vampires, there's another throne here we should look at potentially taking too. I'm, I'm very interested to see how the AI is going to react to us getting more thrones which hopefully will happen over the course of this war with Scalaria. But there's also some other things that I can't remember if we discussed, but we're I know we looked at items in the last episode. I have another Glamour 2 mage, which is kind of cool. She's chilling right here. So that's interesting. We probably can get her... Let me actually see. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and move her down here this way. But as we empower her up, which I think it's, what, the 25 and then 40. How much is it to empower her? 40? 45. Yeah, so after we empower, we're going to be pretty broke in terms of glamour. But we'll be able to make the booster we need and we'll be able to cast Illusory Attack. And we're going to be actually pretty much ready to do it. You know, we'll just have to gather folks together. The other thing we need is we actually need the construction seven so that we can make water bracelets so that we can make bog beasts. So that's the other kind of dependency in all of this. And we'll be doing this while getting ready to fight Scalaria. So that'll be exciting. And let's see what the new turn brings. All right, we got a new turn. And uh, the thing I'm most interested in seeing is what is happening to this. Oh, it has ticked down toward nap one. So presumably we can't attack yet. Presumably we attack <laughs> next turn. You know, it's sending scouts our way. So is Calum, indicating maybe they're thinking about the... Ooh, look at that. This is deep in my land, too. So that's actually kind of cool. Scalaria is gearing up for... Basically, they're gearing up for war. What is this? Oh, yes. Yes. It's bogus. We're going to get all the gear. We can't charm them, though, I don't think. I it, it does hurt my soul a little bit that charm is now glamour. Yeah. I'm going to have to come around. The, the glamour is cool, but I'm going to have to come around to some of my... The, the nations I like getting kind of the shit nerfed out of them. 
Oh, this gives our army something to do this turn. Let's patrol here. There's a little bit of unrest we can get rid of as well. Here, though, we're going to probably ride out with a fair number of these guys. Here's all the, the gear we want to get. Ideally, I'd like to charm them, too. I, I don't think that's in the cards, though. Particularly, I'd like to charm this guy. I think we're going to have to settle for flanking and this one. This, it would be great to get both those. Yeah. Luck. A lot of protection. Storm armor. I don't remember that. This is new. Does this guy still have the green pebble armor or whatever it's called? Greenstone armor? Acid resistance. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, he's beat up too. He's got some afflictions. Boots of quickness. All right, we want all this gear. Uh, let's look at the rest of the turn here. Uh, plus 10 defense, minus 9 unrest, minus 15 unrest. Unfair rulership? What? That's not unfair rulership. We are, we are just pro-vine over here. This hater is saying we're unfair. <clears throat> Kalem Scout. Hmm. Okay, well, let's we'll do this together. This will be kind of fun. Let's uh, send all these guys over here. And uh, let's break out. We're going to have our god stay inside. But the more people we bring, the higher the odds we... Oh, there's actually a chance we could convert people with carry-on bows. That's actually possible. Where are our carry-on bows? If we get one of the mages, that would be sick. Oh, I don't know. I don't think you keep commander status, though. But I'm not... I'm also not sure. Uh, where, where are... Oh, they're here. There's so many of them, I couldn't tell what they were. Yeah, okay. So here we go. We'll put them in a box. We'll put them on fire. Hold an attack closest. You know what we might do? So it's going to be a little easier to do the logistics. Okay, we're going to move them here. I'm going to do Y, and we'll get the people... Oh, we can't move out. Okay, never mind. I was going to see if we can get all the people going to a province, and then I think maybe I can hide out the people researching. What's the hotkey for that? Hide researchers. Hide show Z. Okay. So we can do mass protection. Does nature get... Did nature get something else in Thaumaturgy? Not really. Fury of the Wild. They got some animal stuff. I'd say in general, no, though. Yeah, it's, in, it's a nature thaumaturgy loss, not having charm. Oi. Okay, so let's have basically all of you and you. Let's have you guys break siege. Let's have this guy. Do we have armor? I feel like we've been slacking a little bit on, on arms production. Uh, we also should make, if we can... We have a ton of nature gem. I mean, of water gems. We finished construction seven this turn, so we'll be able to make this path booster. Oh, we didn't. Oh, we need it because we need. We'll have this guy make it. A water bracelet. We actually probably will need to make a few of those. So we're gonna make. I don't need to preach with this person anymore as well. Uh, we're gonna have all these people make water bracelets. And yeah, we don't want to use gems, but we can have this person come out and do, you know, they can go out and do mass protection or Oaken Army. What is that right? Oaken Army, four and three. Oh, yeah, we have to add a gem. <clears throat> and then, and then we're going to need, holy, what else? Would darkness be good? Do these trolls have dark vision? They do, but partial dark vision. I want to have a flanking squad, too. I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and we'll do the micro. I feel like I'm kind of slowing down. Okay, I think I finished the scripting. Pretty simple. We're just putting people kind of in a blob here. Some of these guys that are showing up are, are just forging things. They're not actually going to be participating in battle, but I filtered out researchers, at least. But a lot of the people here, the, the commanders are forging. But... Yeah, we've basically got uh, a, a group in front of the archers, the archers in the middle, groups kind of surrounding them. And then we got two flankers that will hopefully kill the mages. 
We've got one thug buffing himself up and attacking. I don't think he's going to actually be big enough to wade, wade through things. <clears throat> but, you know, it is what it is. I probably should also make a couple of these Amulet of the Giants as well. <clears throat> but, yeah, you can see they just showed up here as well. But, but yeah, that's basically it. We don't... It's possible they tank us. I don't... We have... It would be nice to do drain life spam. I probably, if I can, I could bring... Who has a... This guy should join. I think... I don't know what item this was, but I think it was a temporary... Oh, yeah, these were my... Uh, the patch, the most recent patch broke modded items. So, anyway. Actually, we should probably just destroy them. It's not going to get fixed, so... Uh, yeah, this, this ghost orbs we made are, are a little destroyed now that's not getting fixed though but <clears throat> yeah we actually should have this guy break out as well because we don't actually really need him for darkness you know it's not a horrible idea but what we actually want him for is i think we're just going to have him cast personal region and that will give time for for the enemies to land and then we're going to have him spent drain life and advance and cast spells because sometimes these guys are really tanky. They are tough to kill. So having a at least one Drain Life caster, I think, will make a big difference. You know, we could have two. Later, we'll get Disintegrate. And not that long, right? But once we have Disintegrate, all our D2s, basically all our apostates are going to be thug killers. But not right now. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. Nothing super fancy. We've kind of shifted. I don't really have many normal traditional centaurs left. We've kind of shifted out of that. We have, you know, 10 here, 75 here, but that's it. We have a good amount of income, but we have a tremendous amount of upkeep. And that's because these panic apostates are both expensive and not sacred. So their upkeep is through the roof. So that's kind of a thing. I mean, our centaurs have high upkeep as well. Um, we will hopefully be fixing that very shortly. I, I've gone back and made every person who's a water mage, I believe, here uh, make a water bracelet. So that includes these ones. So we got five water bracelets getting made, which means next turn we'll be able to make five sets of bog beasts, which will be great. Um, and we can make bog beasts anywhere. It doesn't have to be in that spot. I think we'll probably do our first conversion ritual, maybe like right around here. Maybe over here. I don't know. Somewhere kind of central so we can pull in mages from everywhere. And I decided what I'm going to do. I don't want to spend time testing and like setting up a test game. But what I'm going to do is set up a turn. And because this is local, I can just save scum. We're not going to save scum for any of the like the fights with the AI for any reason, shape, or form. But the turn that we are testing out this life after death conversion, we will potentially save scum if it doesn't work. And you just manually copy and paste files in your folder to do it. So anyway, that's what's going to be happening. We'll see you there. All right, we got a new turn. A herald is right for man. Man wants a non-aggression pact with us. All right, so be it, buddy. We've got non-aggression packs coming out our every orifice in our body. We found a magic scythe. We got a chasm of strange light. Or starlight chasm, sorry. What is that? Oh, okay. Astral and Earth. We've detected an assassin. Okay, well, this was the real battle, though. This here against uh, Bogus and his his allies. <clears throat> Looks like our guys are. I apparently forgot to put everybody on hold and attack. Hopefully they don't land on a mage. Oh, gosh. He didn't last long. Oh, it's so wild. Look at his... He's got the... I don't know if you could see this before. Okay, wait. Hold up. Did we get to see his cool hairdo while he's on the mount? I've never noticed it. Look at that. He's got, like, cool-ass blue hair. That's pretty cool. I never noticed that, but it's it's very obvious when he lands. Casting Drain Life. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, his mount died very quickly. We're going to go back and look at... I, I want to look at the stats. I haven't really looked at Bogus much in Dominion 6. Oh, I hear Gift of Heaven sounds. I don't like those sounds. Fortunately, they're bothered with us back 
There's these guys back here, it looks like. <clears throat> okay, the fatigue is getting high. This guy's fatigued out. This guy's not fatigued out yet. Does he have a vine shield? Ooh, dark seed infection. I wonder how many of these guys we got with the dark seed infection. He's got it too. But we're going to find out for sure, one way or the other, if dark, how dark seed infection works for, for heroes. I haven't really checked. Presumably they're going to turn into vine ogres. Or not vine ogres, carry on ogres. Oh my goodness. A carry on giant. Poggers. Look at that. I love that Illwinner puts this stuff in. And some of my... The fact they do this, it's some of my favorite stuff. Because, yeah, they had to sit around and make a sprite. And how often are you going to see this sprite? Never. You can't reanimate these normally. They're not going to just come about. You have to kill a giant with a carry-on seed for this to happen. It's so cool. But what I really am interested in is, can I get these mages? That's, and this, this guy is not a commander. That's important, right? Because he, if he was a commander, when he switched sides, we would see the item slots, which we don't see. Well, we've got two now. If you switch forms, like the, que the question might be, okay, well, could I empower, but not empower, like gift of reason these guys, turn them in, into a commander. Will they then be able to, to cast spells? And the answer I'm almost certain is no. The reason is, is that once you become a unit, you lose whatever like randoms you rolled or anything. Like you lose all paths. Oh, this guy's regenerating though. Unfortunately, these giants are able to wade through. They just walked through all these guys because they're so big. And they look to be hurting him significantly. Yeah. 22 damage claw. That is super cool. We picked up these high experience carry on giants. That is super cool. Minus three carry on giants. And we got all the items, it looks like. We got a lot of good stuff. That was a juicy delivery. Like a technically bad event, but it would give me that all the time. It, it could be a little disruptive early in the game when you're not ready for it. <clears throat> But, ooh, juicy. We have the storm armor. Can we even make that? Is that a forgeable item? Because if so, that's a new... I've never heard of it. I don't see it here. I don't think you can forge it. Interesting. Could be an artifact, maybe? We'll come through here. Here's the greenstone armor. 10 hit points, 20 protection, and acid resistance, and is heavy. Heavy items cannot be moved through rituals easily. I don't... Okay, Rune Smasher. These things are sick. I think that's all of it. I think that's all. I'm not sure we got everything. I wish I could name these. I don't want their past lives to be totally forgotten. But you'll know when you see these guys in my army where they came from. They're not the, they're not your average carry-on. It's actually Bogus and Company reincarnated his vines. Okay, checking the diplomacy. Okay, so we're at war now, so we can attack. Well, that's exciting. So we're going to need to do that. Basically, the plan... Let's see if these guys can even reach... Oh, God. Oh, it's winter. So all these mountain passes have frozen up. I was going to attack through here, but we don't have Dominion present. If anything, it's probably Caitlyn Dominion, it looks like. So these guys are actually a little stuck. We're going to have to... We can go through here, though. So anyway, we're going to have to maneuver, kind of get into position. This army, we can probably have attack in force. So I think we're going to do that. So I'm going to script this army and then the, the Panic Apostates here to, to come attack this way. We're going to get... We're going to figure out a spot to summon our carry or our bog beasts and get our life after death thing ready. We are about one turn away from being able to do it.
So in theory, I might be able to arrange this next turn as well. So we'll see if we how close we can get to scripting that. So yeah, that'll be fun. I will unpause when we're done. Okay, so I've got this scripted. We're moving a sizable army here into Inaramat, Inarim, Inarim. I don't know. This province with this fort in it. We've got everything here on hold and attack. We've got the things on hold and fire. We've got Oaken Army, or Matt, the old mass protection going up. We've got Darkness, Foul Vapors, and Serpent's Blessing. This combo should be pretty good. Darkness and Oaken Army are going to make it really hard for our guys to get killed. And to make them more killy. Foul Vapors is going to clean out a lot of their troops if they bring a lot. And Serpent's Blessing is going to protect ours. So feeling pretty good about this. Yeah. We should just move some of these around. And we've got just a tremendous number of dudes. So with that, let's go ahead and hit in turn and see what happens. Okay, so I finished the scripting. It took kind of a while, actually, like 30 minutes later. Yeah, and we've got this army that's coming over here to come take this fort. We have to go through, we can't go through the mountain passes because it's winter, I forgot. It'll probably be the end of yeah, it's late winter, so it'll be by the time this is over. But I think this has Calum Dominion in here as well. So this one actually probably won't switch back. All right, this one probably won't switch back. Maybe it will. It's only called one. Yeah, it's possible we just waited here. We could have gone through. But anyway, we're coming over this way with this army. And then we're going to hit this. And then we've got this army sitting on top of this fort. We didn't actually crack it. And uh, yeah, you know, they raided us here. I think we went over this turn. Now that I'm talking about it, I'm like, huh, maybe we didn't or something. But uh, yeah, maybe I haven't gone through it. Gosh, my memory's foggy. But yeah, anyway, there were some assassination attempts. Those obviously aren't good. A lot of them were here. I went and put guard commander on these guys. And then I have guard commander on these guys and we're patrolling here. Where was the other one? Go to province. Go to province. Oh, so here was the other one. Oh, dude, this was our Glamour 2 one. Oh, shit. That sucks. I guess we put these on Guard Commander. We probably should patrol out next turn, too. Let's see if I can get this person over here. Maybe we send this... Oh, we're going to keep patrolling here. I really do need to keep my forts patrolled. Scalaria is big on these assassinations. We can look at some of the battles, too, because they have kind of cool places that they happen sometimes. Ooh, blood poisoning. Oh, yeah, she's taking a little nap here. That's not good. Yeet. I <laughs> the new... I mean, yeah, the new battles are cool. Sometimes they help the assassin, and sometimes they hurt. I think that's kind of good, maybe. Yeah. Just kind of mixes things up. Makes things less re reliable either way. Yeah. So, that's basically it. We'll go ahead and hit intern and see what happens. <coughs> All right, we got a new turn. Let's see. We empowered ourselves in Glamour. This is important for casting that illusory army. Bog Beasts. We found three magic sites. Poggers. Shimmering Waterfall. Circle of Strange Stones. Mist Shrouded Ruins. Very cool. A Sun Ridge is a two fire site. Uh, an assassinate. Oh my gosh. How does this guy assassinate him? This is not an easy guy. Oh, he doesn't have any gems. <laughs> oh man, that bodyguard minotaur. That's so crazy that it, we got like a national themed unit in there with us. Um, otherwise a little unfortunate. Yeah, dude, they're making a lot of assassins. Holy shit. Um, and they didn't choose to assassinate here again. There were, was at least one assassin present here. This is the one. Okay. He died in the battle, so there was nobody to patrol out because we were patrolling here. Um, so this army, presumably we've got enough guard commander people here. Well, let's just make sure. Don't want to run short on guard commanders. Because there are a lot of assassins. Yeah, that I wonder if that makes Scalaria better now. Like, I wonder, I feel like there's a decent chance with the new assassin layout that, like, 
it probably makes the really good assassins maybe a little bit less good. Because they could like walk into a really hard room or something. But it probably makes the very or the very bad assassins a little better because they could like catch you while you're sleeping or something. Hmm. All right, these are let's put these guys on guard commander here. And because we have more, we will use them. We got all of these guys definitely need assassins. I mean, bodyguards. Put these down here. Wait, whoops. Bodyguard. 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 Okay, I think we've got everybody adequately guarded. All right, grab the troops. We're invading. <clears throat> Yeah, we're going to go ahead and have these guys come with as well. There'll be a little bit of kind of chaff, assassin chaff, if you will. This fort has a thousand wall integrity. So yeah, we're starting to see here the the effects of... So, oh my god. This is a big army. So I was going to have these guys come raid, but now that I'm looking at it, we might also need rigor. There's going to be a big fucking battle. They're going to have at least as many things as we have. We're storming though. Fuck that. But, yeah, this is going to be intense. This is going to be intense. Uh, our Dominion is not... We do need to knock down some of these temples, though. But there's potentially... I have to send in casters. Because who knows how many... I mean, I think there was a fair amount of PD in some of these. Especially impossible AI this late in the game, like turn 48. Like, they're going to have some serious PD. So we can't... And our troops aren't really that good. So... Um, we basically have to have gemmed mage support, I think. This is the battle I'm worried about, though, right here. So, and this is a thousand siege strength. Oh, this, if we don't lose anything, can these guys, oh, they can make it. Okay, I think we want to send these because this could be the difference between one turn popping this fort and not. So we're actually going to send these guys here. Yeah, let's just, what do we have these guys? Are they holding attack? Holding attack, holding fire. Just from that. I, I'm not really too concerned about where they are on the battlefield. I just really need some more siege chaff. This looks good. I mean, we have foul vapors. We have darkness. We could do rigor mortis. I don't know if we need it with foul vapors up. I feel like with darkness and oaken army and serpent's blessing and foul vapors, we're going to carry the day. The only thing I'm thinking maybe might be good to add is it might be good to have a howl caster. So we might be bring this guy and have him cast howl. That might might soften up some of our losses. So that might be good. Conservative, advancing cast. Yeah. And then bring in a little bit more chaff. Maybe we put these guys on the front, too. We'll put them in a line. They'll be the first to die. That'll kind of help the, the force that's going to storm here do a little bit better. Other things that might be good, they have a lot of javelins, potentially, so it could be good to have Aerofin turn one. We could verse a player. We'd be doing a lot of things differently. But I would probably show the player enough respect if I saw this to at least do Aerofend with my god. I don't think it's really worth it here in this case. But yeah, here's our, by the way, our glint. We should make sure she has bodyguards too and put some gems on her. Lord knows there could be a an assassin lurking. And she's now very expensive since we spent 45 gems to empower her. We need to make now the, where, where do we have it? Not any of these. By the way, I was looking at this. These would actually be really good on Asphodel. I probably should have been making these. They're at construction four. They really would have picked up my research. But I also would have needed to prepare for that. These are things you learn by like playing the nation the first time and that can really affect your timings. We should have prioritized site searching glamour a bit more. Like maybe use some more dryads to site search rather than just the apostates. Which we eventually did do. But, you know, doing it early would help a lot. Okay, what do we do? I think we need this. This is the Gossamer Veil. And then that means this next turn, we're going to be able to cast it, which means this turn is the turn to go ahead and take all of these people and move them with any bog beasts they may have in their company. Yeah, the time for summoning bog beasts is over, my boy. So we're going to take all of these people and we're going to move them with their bog beasts down here. You can see we've got a lot of bog beasts here. So bog beasts are size six, so it's only one per tile. 
But we can also fit a size four, which happens to be a panic apostate, in the tile with them. They're undisciplined, so they're going to run forward. So as long as we have a... T they're surrounded. So we need a lot of commanders. Because um, we're going to need to surround each tile with at least two commanders. Um, so we're going to bring all of these. Because they're certainly not good for much. Uh, we're preaching here. We'll preach with some of these. We're going to bring these. Wait, whoops. Uh, we're going to bring all of these. Because we need a lot of commanders. And we'll be able to recruit more. But, I mean, guys, look at my fucking upkeep. It is crazy. We just have to get rid of this. As many of these as we can. Now, I think it makes sense to bring these over here, too. I think we're going to empty this out. And then we're going to bring... We're bringing literally everybody. It's going to... This is going to shut... Everybody that does this is going to get feeble-minded. So our research... Dude. Look at vegan Sprite. Growth power? Oh, poggers. Dude, this guy's a monster. What a monster. Dude, I love this guy. Oh, man. Four arms. Two heads. A body. Foot slot. Hateful vines that reanimate. Mm. These stay even when you give them all weapons. This guy is sick. He's one of the best non-mage heroes in the game. Like, the, the types of heroes you can get from, you know. So cool. All right, fuck yeah. We cannot let him die. We need to make gear for him, too. Damn. Okay. Well, that gives us another thing to do this turn, is make gear for vegan. Which, let's go ahead and rename him. It's an inside joke. People, the people who know, know. Okay. Dear Lord, what what could we all... It does suck he can't... Uh, there's not much he can do to bless... He, he can bless himself, right? But he can't He can't do the, the mend the debt or regrowth, which is the one that we would kind of like him to do. So we'll probably have to have him with some fluff support. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I mean, this guy is an absolute monster. I'm feeling like there's a lot of things we can make that would be really good. One of the things I'm feeling here is quickness boots. So I don't know if we'll have her make it because she doesn't need to. But like we could have this guy make it with a little bracer. We'll make some quickness boots. I think that's these. Yeah. The sprite changes on the boots have really... A lot of this... Some of the sprites I don't like as much. Like they're, they're more indistinct. They're harder to tell at a glance what things are like because they look the same. Like these kind of look the same. But I do think the quality of a lot of them is better, like, by themselves. You know, like, these are kind of sharp-looking boots. Anyway. They're just not as visually distinct. I feel like that's a big trade-off in game design, is, like, sometimes you want to make things look good, but other times a lot of making a game play well is having things you can recognize really quickly just by, like, flash-glancing at them. It's like what good icons are as you like kind of just glance at it and you know what it is so vegan's got four arms he's gonna have boots of quickness he's gonna have all of these things i'm kind of thinking we should maybe throw he definitely needs a i think so he's gonna get one of the we have a wraith sword already so we'll start preparing his kit he's gonna get the wraith this wouldn't be bad he could get one of these he needs a vine shield Lord knows vegan needs at least one bind shield. Then he needs... We, we need to think about the hats. I think this nightmare hat thing we have is pretty good, too. Where do, 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 do this thing? The nightmare aura. That could be kind of sick. There's a lot of things here that could be kind of good. I mean, we could stack fear on him. We could... This, this gives him blur. A spy... Sleep aura. See, this might be sick. A sleep aura might be sick. Because imagine Vine Shield plus Sleep Aura. That seems good to me. So we just need to be a Glamour 2 mage for this. Which we don't really have at present. Yeah. We probably could have done a little bit better about some of these things. Oh, by the way, we need to bring these guys down here. Probably some of these Dryads here as well. 
Oh, yes, bring everybody. Dryads are size three. So two dryads and a tile will also block the bog beasts. The thing, the other thing that's very important, there's a few things that we're gonna have to balance. I might not be able to do this all in one go, and that's why we're gonna save scum, because you can't really know this without testing it. Is if we bring too much stuff, it won't trigger gym use, because it's gonna be like we have too much stuff on our side versus the AI that's attacking us. So it's not gonna use gems, and then none of our stuff's gonna work. You can get around some of that by doing artifacts, which is what we did in the statist game. Here we're not going to. We're going to be a little more sweaty about it. But we're going to also have to test. And the testing, it matters specifically how much stuff you have. So, yeah, anyway. Let's get more bog beasts here. So we, we have a plethora. The bog beasts will be good afterwards, too. We're going to have this guy preach. Okay, we've given... Oh, no, we haven't. Let's make some... We've been making so many cornucopias. I'm not sure what we're going to have our god do. He probably should blood hunt. Um, this is a special random. It's a death water random. Um, we can have this guy. I think we're going to keep these people here. Um, th does this have, this does have mage support. So these guys are not actually needed. So I think we're going to have these guys come up here as well. We've preached this almost to five. So we're going to leave one person preaching and bring two more over here. And do we have bog beasts here? Bog beasts are here. These these guys definitely need to come. Very cool. Um, okay, we're storming. We're going to have a big battle here. We're going on top of this fort. Things could definitely go sideways. I feel pretty good about us. If the enemy does Serpent's Blessing and like Solar Brilliance and stuff, which I think is technically possible. It's not something I would expect the AI to do. I wouldn't take this fight, by the way, against a player. Like, if a player had this much stuff and was Scalaria, I think they would ruin us. We have a pretty good army here, and it would cause damage, but it's not the kind of clean fight I would want to take. So it, there's definitely the opportunity for the AI to do, you know, closer to how well a player would do and make us very upset about the, our decision to stay on top of that fort. Let's move and patrol here. Put some of these guys on this guy. And then we're going to keep... I think we're going to keep... This commander in our eastern portion of our empire here. We've side-searched this, this province for Earth. This one on the Scalarian border. We had not we had kind of failed to do that earlier. But I think we're going to go ahead and send this guy in over here too. This could also be just a bad idea. I mean, having your whole Mage Corps feeble mind... Like, imagine you could cast a spell and it would feeble mind the entire enemy Mage Corps for 10 turns, right as a war is breaking out. That's not going to technically, you know, feeble mind our whole Mage Corps, but it's going to feeble mind our whole backup Mage Corps because we're sending everybody. Okay, let's move the Dryad Mother back over here. We do want to be making stuff. We have 10 nature gems, which is not quite enough. What are we going to make? Let's make a skull staff maybe with you. We've got a lot of skull staffs. I'm not going to make more. We have a darkness caster in this army. Maybe we buck up and add a rigor mortis caster over here. If we have a death three somewhere needing a job. I don't see one. We need more boots of the messenger too. We're... A lot of times I'm not able to bring stuff because I'm checking provinces only like right next to wherever the province is. Like I'm only checking these to go here. But if we had Boots of the Messenger, Seven Stride Boots, I could be checking out here where obviously there are some death mages. So let's see how this works. I'll pause until we finish. Okay, literally like five seconds later, we finished getting through all the commanders. So, yeah. So, I think these are the armies. Let's double check things. Hold and attack. Let's do hold and fire for these guys. Everybody's on hold and attack. One thing you want to be careful about doing is you don't want some people on attack, some people on hold and attack, unless you're sure that's what you want. Uh, a lot of times it's easy to do that by accident. Hmm. I think we've got this. I have sort of a bad feeling, though. 
And I've learned to trust my feelings a little bit. I think we'll win. Darkness is going to be really good. We're storming. We got more people coming on top to help. I think we'll win. I think we'll win. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, actually, while the turn's rolling, I think we're going to do this turn in the next episode because we're kind of late here. It's 45 minutes. So we'll see you next time. Until then, take care.